I'm live. I did one that was like planned, a Q&A, and then I did one a little while back on the tractor. Um, so I'm just going to try to wait and see if anyone hops on. Let me see if I can open the comments. Um, if you guys have any questions you want to ask, I'm going to be in the vineyard. I'll even walk around a little bit. If you guys want to see what's going on, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm really just hanging out in the vineyard. Uh, and sorry if the, I guess I'm too close to the road. If you guys can hear the traffic really bad, let me know and I'll uh, try to walk farther away. Oh, there, okay. It, it's showing that people are here now. It was just kept showing two. Um, I was like, okay, I'm talking to nobody. Well, two people, that's still somebody. Um, I am feeling really good. Thank you for asking. Modern medicine blows my mind. Um, I can't believe that I was in and out of the hospital in the same day from heart surgery. That's just like, right? Um, but no, I'm feeling really good. So yesterday was my first day back. Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Can anyone just let me know? Is the sound okay? Because I'm just doing this with my phone. I don't have like any microphone or anything. Um, but so I feel good. Yesterday was my first day back and I, I took it really light today. I've been still taking it pretty light, but I feel, I feel really good guys. It's, it's pretty crazy. You can sit, sit in the shade. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to get back on top of making videos. Um, I have not had any blackouts since my surgery. And if you guys watched my video, um, I the passing out was not happening like every day or even every week. So I passed out twice with about six months in between. So it wasn't like it was happening a lot, a lot, but obviously you don't ever want to pass out. So um, I was told that the surgery was successful and um, so we're just gonna hope for that. I cut my hair the other day. I'm sure all you guys really care. I chopped it off. Well, to me, this is chopping it off. It's pretty short. But do you guys have any vineyard questions for me that I can either answer or be embarrassed that I don't know? Because that happens a lot too. Um but look at all the grapes, guys. Ha! <sighs> Can I flip this? Let me flip the camera just really quick, okay? Look at, oh, it's, isn't it great? Oh my gosh. Every time I look down here, I'm just like, how did I do this? What is that fingernail color? It's teal with dirt. I, I, I was actually able to paint my nails during surgery recover so normally I can't I don't sit still long enough um I have tasted some they like they taste like grapes they're a little sour right now but they totally taste like grapes um I actually have found two two different vines that are were a mistake like they just must have got mixed up at the nursery so one of them is a table grape so I actually I should go over there and try to pick it because I'm curious like if it, I don't know anything about table grapes um but I'm like oh maybe I could eat those and then and like randomly when I was just walking in the vineyard one day I found a red grape for red wine and I was like that doesn't look right <laughs> um so let's see some of the questions so I recorded a video today that I'm going to try to edit and put out. So um, if you guys watch this, that video, this will be a little double. But we, I got a call from Gallo today, the winery that all my grapes are going to. And we are hoping to harvest in two weeks. So that is 
so crazy so crazy so um depending on how many of my videos you've watched or how long you've been here i planted this vineyard in april of 2018 and this is my very first harvest in hopefully two weeks um okay let's see some i'm gonna read some of you guys' questions um it is warm here this week has actually been a little bit cooler like we had one day that was 80 just beautiful I have I don't know what the temperature is right now it could be 90 um, will you harvest one row at a time so yes we will harvest one row at a time we are using a machine harvester um, and yeah but it's still one row at a time and then the guy who is going to harvest for me is gonna bring two harvesters and he'll he said that we're gonna harvest it in two days so my whole 50 acres is gonna be picked in two days, which is also mind blowing. Isn't that craziness? Look how everything is so green and beautiful. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the shade for a second because it is a little warm. And I'll, I'll uh, see if I can get some of your guys. Do I still, but it's not like this channel is my focus. And obviously like I put about the chicken coops on this channel. I just like, I think if I start making any like tutorial chicken videos or something, they're going to go on that other channel. Um, but this is my focus and I don't want to take away from Beaver Vineyards. So it's like, I've got it. If I want it, it's called Tara's Homestead. But this is this is my main focus. Well, someone said video is is not good. Is is it blurry for everyone, or is it just blurry for some people? I do live on like we're out in the middle of nowhere, so it could be bad service. I'm not. Um, how far are you from Fresno? Uh, are they are my grapes similar to there so I do know that Fresno I'm a few hours away from Fresno um I do know that they grow wine grapes in Fresno but I think that table grapes are more popular in Fresno oh you guys are saying it's blurry and it's cutting in and out hmm hmm Well, I can't, we have this like little, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and get back on. And Fresno makes raisins. Yeah. Yeah. Someone just said that. And that's true. Fresno does a lot of raisins. Mm. Machine harvest. And yes, it shakes some which I am like so scared to watch. It looks so violent. Um, what brand is the harvester? I don't know. I'm hiring someone to harvest. I don't have enough grapes. I don't have enough acres to um, justify buying a harvester. You just, you need a certain amount and I don't have it. So my mentor is going to harp. Almost fell. My mentor is going to harvest it for me. <sighs> what happens after they harvest? Um, like on my end or like where do the grapes go? Oh, going in and out. I'm sorry that the service is bad, guys. Uh, that's like story of my life. I really wanted to like bring you guys out to the vineyard to see things. Um, so, some lag. Sorry, I'm just reading to see if I missed any questions. I think I got most of them. How long would it take to harvest by hand? I honestly don't know. I really don't know. Um, 50 acres. I mean, it depends how many people came and what your tonnage is, but I'll just be honest that I don't know because this is my first 
uh, harvest and this is the only way I know. Who is your mentor or rather how does that work? So um, I've just call him my mentor. He probably doesn't even know that I call him that. I've got more than one in, in my mind. And basically what it was is uh, I have no background in vineyard or viticulture and my family doesn't have any vineyard background. So when I knew that I wanted to plant a vineyard, I found some people in our area that are uh, really great grape growers and they kind of took me under their wing and I basically call them for everything. So whenever I have a question, I call them and they help me. They have helped me so much. They, when, when there's things that I can't do, I hire them and, and they do it for me. But when there's stuff that I can do, they'll tell me like Tara, like for the duster, they were like, we're not going to dust for you. You get a duster, you do it, you can do it. So, um, they've been super helpful and maybe one of these days I'll be able to help a new farmer. I don't know, but I call them for everything. After harvest, the vines look like they have a bad hair day. That is so true. They get super beat up um, right before the harvester starts, like two days before harvesting, we'll come through and actually hedge everything. So everything gets this like ugly chop job. And then the harvester just like shakes them and beats them. And uh, yeah, they're gonna look, they look pretty sad after harvest. Um, so yeah. What happened to my, oh, mm, great prices. I feel like that's a private uh, thing, you know? I don't feel like I need to put that out into the world. Everyone gets something different. I'll just be honest. Uh, people, depends on where you live, you get certain, certain prices, depends on what wine it's gonna go into. So there's a lot of things that affect that. Where is your puppy? Rain is at home right now, getting spoiled. Did you get the air in your, so the air in my seat, on the bottom part it works, except whenever I push down on the clutch, it's like I come up high enough and then the parking alarm always goes off. So that, can I post twice a week? I was doing that for a while um, and I just feel like Lately, I just haven't like felt like I haven't done it. Um, okay, so our sugar right now is at 15 bricks. Um, it could be a little bit higher. Uh, Gallo came out and tested it on Wednesday and they got 15 br bricks. And we have to get a minimum of 19 bricks. And if you guys watched my video about how we test sugar, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I, it was fun and it was something I was learning new and I think those are fun because you guys uh, learn something new too. Um, so, but one thing was a lot of people said, oh, you need to start with water. I, I did calibrate it and I did, in video it so I'm sorry for that hello wants it it goes you know okay oh I see one person said it froze is it still frozen doesn't it say that it's frozen on my side hi Shane Thank you so much. I'm glad you hopped on. Whoopsie. How is my dad? My dad is doing great. He's working his tail off. Um, I don't. I don't think I could ever work as hard as my dad works. It's just. I think it's that old farmer mentality. He's like the hardest worker I know. It's good now. Okay, still frozen. Lost everything. No audio. Oh no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry the service is so terrible. Farm life. I'm sure if you guys watch a lot of farmers 
Well, I don't know. I think the Welkers got some cool thing at their house that makes them have good service. I wonder if Zach has one of those too. I need one of those. I need like a whole antenna at my house, right? <laughs> okay. What should we do? What should we do? It's hot. I could, we could drive, could go for a little drivey. I don't know if it would, do you guys have any Chevy cars? Um, we got Chevys. I don't think anything's for sale though. Okay, we'll drive and uh, we'll see. How long will it take them to harvest the grapes? Two days. Two whole whopping days. Hello from Ireland. Hi. That's cool. My dad's corn is tasseled. Yes. I have not done a lot on the corn this year. Um, I just have not been out there. I have not been out in the corn this year very much. Um, I'll still help him. I'll still help him uh, harvest this year, but definitely the focus has been the grapes. I gotta, does anyone have a truck where you have to buckle? Like I have to buckle, otherwise it starts screaming at me. Okay. I think there's a question I missed. A company is going to come out and harvest the grapes. Yes, Shane. Um, we're going to do it with a machine harvester. How often do you water? Okay, so um, I just started cutting down on the water, but I typically ha uh, water twice a week, and I water like... I don't know, what do I do? Like between 10 and 12 hours? But we're cutting back now. We're cutting back the water now. Um, did someone just post Z's? Like, what, what does that mean? Am I, am I boring? I'm, I'm sorry? I don't know what that means. <laughs> sorry if I'm boring you. <laughs> sorry, I'm just gonna get turned around and then I'm gonna go back to reading the questions. I was gonna show you guys the vineyard a little bit. <laughs> Thought we could go look at those grapes that I think are table grapes. One second. Okay. Uh oh. I don't know what happened. Okay. Let's see. So now the vineyard's behind me. Corn harvest will be cool. So if you guys, um, depending on how long you've been here, I kind of attempted YouTube and then I got burnt out. So I was like, I don't think I can do it. I don't think it's for me. And then if you guys follow Brian's farming videos, um, he said something like when he started YouTube, he was like, I'm just going to do a video every day of harvest. And he did it. And I was like, oh, corn harvest is coming. Maybe I'll, I'll try that. I'll try making a video every day of corn harvest. And I did it. And I've been here ever since. So last year's corn harvest, I have every day up on YouTube. It was a pretty short corn harvest, but it's up here. Okay. Let's see. They pay by, uh, so for the grapes, they pay per ton. And then for someone like me, which everyone is different, but I have a contract for X amount of tons. So um, it's not necessarily that you have to, you have to hit that tonnage, but you want to, cause that's what they'll take. So the goal is to, you know, max out your contract the best you can. Do I think that the future of growing grapes is indoors? I hope not. I, I don't, I've never seen anyone grow wine grapes indoors. I'm not saying it's not happening, but I don't want to be an indoor farmer. Um, let's see. I, I think I missed some questions. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm missing a lot of questions. I'm sorry. Okay, a couple people have asked about my heart. My heart is good. Surgery was a success. Um, on Tuesday, the doctor gave me the all clear to get back to work. Uh, to get back to work. But she said, don't go crazy all in one day. So I'm keeping it light, but I'm feeling really good every day. The first couple days were rough, but every day I've been feeling better. Um, someone asked about our town. Do we have like some stores? We don't even have one stoplight. No. Nope. Okay, let's see. Is there anything that we can increase sugar? Yes, and I am still, I'm just going to be honest because that, that's the only way it's to be, right? Um, I am still learning a lot about the science behind sugar in grapes. So if we can, basically to bring the grapes up, there's certain fertilizer we can use and you want to stress the vine a little bit so less water and i've just known that less water means the sugar will go up but i still am learning like the actual science behind that the one like analogy someone told me which i think i mean this is true is the grape's purpose is to spread itself all plants that's why they have the seeds they want to spread themselves everywhere right so if the grape has a ton of water, a lot of nutrients, it's like, I'm gonna grow forever here. I'm just gonna keep growing and keep growing. And that's what it, so it keeps putting out new branches and new leaves and it keeps getting bigger. Where if you start stressing it and cutting off the water, then it's like, oh no, I'm gonna die. So it starts putting all the sugar into the grapes. So birds will eat the grapes and take their seeds off and plant their seeds. So that was like a good little analogy of um, like stressing the water to get more sugar. But yeah, so that's how you get more sugar. Stress the vine, certain fertilizers. I'm going to go. I'm driving right now to the vine. It's like a table. I tried one yet. I have no idea if they're any good. I don't know if they're there still even. Let's see if I can read comments without driving into the ditch. That would be super embarrassing. Drive into the ditch during a live. You guys could call AJ and let him know for me. Okay. Let's see. Have I... Okay, so wine question, which I, took. I get asked all the time, which I understand. At this time, I have no plans on making wine. Um, I don't drink very much. I don't have like a very sophisticated palate for wine. So at this time, I just don't picture it in my future. Like I feel like you just have to have a taste for it and I don't and I'm not that interested in it. I'm not gonna never say never, right? So I'm not gonna say never, but right now, yeah. Um, and my cousin is a winemaker and she's like, hmm. She could be 15 years older than me or so. She's been a winemaker for a long time. So I told her before, you know, like in the future, if you ever wanted to make wine out of my grapes, maybe we could do a little family thing. So that could possibly be in the future, you know, but me personally, I, I don't know. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for the vine. It's kind of on the end, so I should be able to see it. Let's see if I got any questions. What's going to be the name of your wine? Not making wine. Uh, I thought there was a, oh, I think there is a ribbon. Okay, could you, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's probably so ugly to look at someone reading comments. <laughs> I'm just trying to see. 
Okay, do you use? Okay, so this question I was gonna address in a future video and I might, I might still. Um, but people have been asking me a lot, how do we keep birds off the grapes? Um, so for me, definitely can be, but they just haven't been. Um, and because we get harvested pretty early, I'm not too stressed about it at this time, but there are definitely ways that you can um, help with the birds. A couple options are, which I want to do this this winter, is you put up these huge poles and um, they're for hawks. So you just attract more hawks and the hawks will, you know, keep the smaller birds away and the hawks don't eat the grapes. Another thing that I know some people that have like really high dollar wine, they will get like sound cannons. And we actually have one. Somehow my dad happened upon one and he was like, I better keep it. You might need it one day. Um, and it just puts off this like big boom sound that scares the birds. Another one that I've seen that I'm like, uh, but it works, is they will play the sound of a hawk killing a bird. So it's like this horror movie screeching sound <laughs> that they play in the vineyard to scare birds away. So, okay, I just got to the grapes. So I'll show you guys, here are my grapes. This is my field that's a little um, behind, but you see what they look like. Here is the mistake grape. I should pick, oh my, yeah, I should pick one of these. I wonder if they're any good. Oh, hold on. I gotta get my, I've got a little knife thing. Oops. Ugh. At this guy weapon jk it's like not sharp at all okay one sec let's see so here is the mystery grape that uh i've got one vine of and they look like table grapes so this grape compared to <laughs> my wine grapes okay gonna get just wash it off a little bit and then I'm gonna eat one we'll see if it tastes any good probably should have picked them sooner kind of raisining oh, let's see if the mystery grape tastes any good and then I'll go back to answering questions oh my gosh it's so bright out here gonna try hopefully my phone won't fall Oh, that tastes good. Oh, and there's no seed. So my wine grapes have seeds. Oh, I think the mystery grape is gonna stay. It should have been picked sooner though. Oh, those taste good guys. This is a great snack. I don't know what they are. Okay. Verdict is in. Whoops, mystery grape tastes good. Okay, I'll stop eating now and I'll answer more questions. I don't think they're Thompson seedless, um, but honestly, I'm not totally sure. What did I miss? This is a, a grape that got planted in my vineyard by accident. I, it, sometimes it happens, it came wrong from the nursery. It's a table grape. So I was just picking them to see if they taste good. They do, they taste delicious. So I think I'm gonna have to come back later and pick some and put them in my fridge because um, they're, they're getting sunburnt already. Okay, let me set these down and I'll start paying attention again. Okay, 
Let me sit in the shade. It's easy for me to see the questions. Okay, how are the roses doing? Jay Wilkinson, hello. Thanks for popping on. So the roses are actually doing really good, but it sounds like my mom's gonna dig them out and replant them this winter um, because it's been really hard for me to not spray them when I'm spraying. And I don't know, she's been struggling. I, they look beautiful, but mentally I think she's struggling with them. So probably this winter they're gonna get moved somewhere else in the yard oh someone said the grapes are muscat that's what they are muscat that's what the mystery table grape is um okay how many how many acres of grapes do i have i have 50 acres oh do 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 reading reading Okay, so yeah, they just, this one, and then I've got one cab. I've got one red wine vine that's cab. They just get mixed up at the nursery. I've got 36,000 vines out here. So if only two got messed up, not so bad, right? Okay. So the table grapes, like it just tasted, that, that grape I just ate just tasted like a grape that you would get from the store. Super good. Um, my grapes right now are still like a little tart tasting. I don't use like all the fancy wine words because I don't know them. So, okay. So if you have, if I have, okay. So this is the question. What happens if you have more grapes than your contract? So there are a few things that you can do. For one, I do kind of have a large contract. Um, so I don't think we're gonna be pushing my vines much past that. And basically what you try to do is early on in the year, you try thinning. And that way you just fill your contract and you kind of get the best grapes you can. If you go over contract, I don't know for sure because I haven't been there, but basically what I've been told is you can either sell them to the winery, but they normally are like half price or, you know, really, really low or sometimes smaller wineries or other people that want to make wine will be looking for extra and you can sell it to them. So that's something you can do, but I, I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm going to be shooting for over my contract. But only time will tell, right? I'm still very much in the learning process. That was a good question. I don't, I don't think anyone has asked me that question yet. What is the market for grape juice? I have no idea. I really don't. I don't know anything about grape juice. I, I will say, like, I have not been watching like the market for grape juice or wine, which I know is so bad. I've, I've got to get better. It's the, this whole thing has been a learning process, but because I have a contract, I just have focused on that. Um, but obviously, I mean, it could still affect me and it, it could, you know, if they're not selling wine. So that's why I always tell people like the best way to support me is just drink more wine, safe, responsibly, but you know, drink more wine. Um, I was told that my grapes will be going into dark horse Sauvignon Blanc. That's what Gallo told me. So dark horse Sauvignon Blanc, drink it up and hopefully you know, Gallo will be like, oh, maybe some, maybe some extra of this needs to be grown, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, muscat has seeds, someone said. So maybe it's not muscat. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know table grapes. Do any plants get pulled out or destroyed during harvest? I don't think they get pulled out. I think that would be a really big problem. Um, I'm not going to say they can't get destroyed. We're going to find out. We're going to find out together. They get, they get pretty beat up. I look cute reading comments. Well, that's good because I'm just like... Mm. <laughs> oh, 
Ola from Barcelona. Conquered grapes, yeah. I mean, I don't know much about the table grapes. Let's see, when do we harvest, Jose Torres? Um, hopefully in two weeks. That's what we're hoping for. Um, okay, so someone just said overcropping is not a good thing, and that is true. So that's why I kind of said we know what my contract is for. It's a pretty high contract, so I don't really see us having the need to overcrop. And like even this year, I am nervous because there's we have a lot of grapes. Um, I mean, as you can see, like my vine is looking great, you know, like it's not a little twig, they're doing good. But if I overcrop this year, I can actually get less next year. I can damage them. So we're prepared for that for winter. You know, what kind of nutrients do we want to give the grapes and try to get ahead of it? But I could have overcropped this year, just like out of excitement. Can you just take a look at that guys it just it's so crazy as long as we make it to harvest i'm i'm gonna be so happy okay reading comments oh I don't know the price of table grapes versus wine grapes. I have no idea. Have I talked to Meredith? I talk to Meredith on a daily basis. This farm wife, Al. Um, I'm, not, I'm not joking either. Me and Meredith talk every single day. Like maybe one day a week we don't talk. But she is like my soul sister. Um, I'm so glad social media brought us together. And that she convinced me to start a YouTube. I love Meredith so much. If for some crazy reason you are not subscribed to Meredith's channel, she is a YouTube rock star, this farm wife. Absolutely amazing. I love her so much. And it's crazy what social media does because she'll probably be my friend for the rest of my life now. Okay. Um, will the harvester bring one or two machines? I was told he's going to bring two machines and that we will harvest it in two days, which is pretty crazy. How has my health been? It's been good. I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm thankful. Thank you guys, everyone, for the kind words on my video. It means so much to me. Um, and yeah, I, I am feeling good. Uh, Damon, you said wine grapes range from a low of $1,500 a ton all the way up to $14,000 a ton. I'm just going to say that's wrong. Um, I, both those numbers are in the range, but saying that that's the low and that's the high is wrong. Just saying. Um, farm wife rocks. Yes, she does. Oh, Al, you're so sweet. I, uh, Big Al, you're great. I mean, you follow like all us farm tubers, don't you? Like we all know who you are. You're, you're an awesome viewer for sure. Okay, so this one says uh, contracts are not being renewed and that is true. Um, we are definitely, I, I'm not ignoring that something you can't ignore. So, you know, everything is struggling right now. All of agriculture is struggling and wine is too. So I do know that the wine markets are hurting a little bit. Wow. M Bertram. Thank you so much. That was extremely sweet of you. Thank you for that. Um, 
So wine markets are hurting. I do know that. And grape contracts are not being renewed. So basically, I'm just going to give an example. Say that you have a five year grape contract and 2020 is year five. So this is your fifth harvest and wineries are not renewing them, which means you do not have a guaranteed home for your grapes. And that's terrifying because you might not have your vineyard paid off or whatever. You might still have, you know, a loan you have to pay back. So it's really scary. Um, I have been paying attention to that. This is year one for me. I have a fairly long contract, which has pros and cons, definitely has pros and cons, but I'm hoping by the time my contract is up, that we're gonna be over this hump and back to renewing contracts. I'm gonna to try to keep a good relationship with Gallo. I mean, nothing is foolproof, but I'm definitely, I'm gonna try my hardest, you know, to do the best I can and to give them a reason to take me back. <laughs> okay, oh, that $20, that was extremely sweet of you. Thank you so much. Being outside is pretty good medicine, 100% agree. Uh, I love being outside. Um, if you guys have seen my videos, we actually live in a pear orchard and sometimes I will literally just go lay in the grass. Um, I've always been that way. I love being outdoors. It's very, it's very therapeutic. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Brian Payne. I don't know for sure, but I heard that driving New Holland tractors is good for your heart too. Okay, I'm on the right track there then. <laughs> I should be okay. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I, I think I answered a lot of questions. I know I didn't answer everything. Your family is a first generation farm. Oh, I'm so sorry that it failed. Farming, oh, farming is so hard. And um, if you guys do follow me on Instagram at Beaver Vineyards, I know not everyone has Instagram, but if you do, every Monday I do Mental Health Monday. And farming is so hard. And a lot of farmers um, are getting out of it and it's just it's hard and I think um if you guys don't know my story which I won't tell my whole story here because probably a lot of you do know it um but I my parents never talked about me being a farmer um they never said like don't be a farmer but they really never talked about it and I think it's because it's so hard and they know those struggles so Oh, got to support your farmers as best you can, guys. I think I think I got I don't know what this means, but I think someone just became a member of my channel, Rufus. If that just happened, thank you so much. I've never gotten that alert before. Um so thank you for becoming a member of my channel. Uh I'm still I'm really terrible at channel memberships, but for every person that is a member of my channel, it means so much to me. It's just like an extra way uh, you guys can support the channel. And I mean, YouTube is, has been amazing for me. It really has. I've gotten to meet so many other farmers and I get to connect with you guys. Okay, let's see. Am I going to make a video of harvest and then winery delivery? So I am definitely going to have a video of harvest. I mean, we can't miss that, right? Uh, so I will definitely have a harvest video and I'm going to see what I can do about going to the winery. I'm hoping to connect with Gallo because I would like, I'd love to ride with at least one truck to the winery possibly and like whatever because once my grapes go in the truck I won't see them again that's it like it goes to Gallo and I'm done with them so I am gonna try to see if I can see the other side I don't know for sure but I'm gonna try to get connected and uh 
I'm gonna see if I can get some videos on that side of things. So someone said, basically said, how could you fail in almonds? Which um, was a response to someone else because they're the biggest produ product in California. I'm just gonna say, just because they do great doesn't mean that you're gonna be successful. I mean, I have these wine grapes which a lot of people from the outside might think, I'm gonna be so successful, but I really don't know. I could lose everything, guys. Doesn't matter uh, how well something sells in your state or around the world or whatever, all farming is hard. It's a huge investment. Oh my gosh, thank you again so much. Um, you guys are so sweet. It just is mind blowing, the whole YouTube community. Nearly one in the morning. Where are you, Thomas? It is 4.55 p.m. here. Holy smokes. Do I follow any farmers besides Meredith on YouTube? We have like a whole U farm tube club. No, it's not a club because like anyone can be in it, right? Um, like... I don't know what the right word is, but yes, definitely. I mean, there's the Welkers, there's Zach, Meredith, Sandy for, is sheepishly me. My friend Taryn, her channel I think is Beef. Oh my God, she's going to kill me. Faith, Family, and Beef, Taryn. And then Natalie Kavoric, the Kavorics. They raise beef. Brian, Fast Ag. There's so many. The, the farm tube family is amazing. Everyone's amazing. Everyone is so positive. Um, that's what I loved about doing YouTube is like everyone will answer any questions you have. Like what kind of camera should I use? What should I, how should I do this? How should I do that? And everyone is so welcoming. So yeah, uh, you should definitely follow all the farmers. Let's see. I guess you are a farm her. I am. See my little baby ponytail? <laughs> oh. Become a sheep farmer? No, no, no. I'll, I'm going to let Sandy uh, sheepishly me. She's doing a great job at that. I'm just going to let let her handle that. I got the chickens. Chickens are my thing. Oh, Cole the Corn Star. How could I forget him? Cole. Oh, and there's so many. There's so much more. Does Farmer Dan have a YouTube? And then um, Carl Dodge. Um, the Larsons, right? The Larsons. There's so many. There's so many farm tubers, and they're seriously all amazing. Like, I don't think I've met one where I'm just like, mm, mm, you know, Farmhand Mike. Yes, I love Farmhand Mike and his daughter is so sweet. Yeah, you guys should name off some of your favorite farm tubers, you know, besides me. Okay, who else? They're, they're all they're all so amazing. He doesn't have a uh, YouTube, but you guys might know Rob Sharkey, Rob Sharkey, the shark farmer. He's super fun. Oh, Laura Farms. I actually don't know her. Um, I know that she had like a viral video and blew up, which is amazing. Um, because, you know, if anyone is doing something positive for ag, it's positive for all of us. So I don't actually know Laura. Um, but it sounds like she's doing an amazing job on YouTube. Let's see. Oh, everyone's saying what time it is. Man, 1 a.m., people. You need to go to sleep. Oh, someone said you guys loved my wedding picture. So that actually wasn't my wedding picture that you guys saw that was on my phone. It was an engagement picture. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favorite photos of AJ and I. 
um, that's like on the back of my phone. I think I showed my phone for my drop control and you guys saw it. Oh, oh, and there's, uh, the rice farmer. Is that what his channel's name is? The rice farmer. He's here in California too. Do you guys follow him? He's a redhead too, I think. I'm totally drawing a blank on his name. If you guys know who I'm talking about, throw it out there. I don't know if I've heard of Acres of Clay. Harmless Farmer. I don't know him, but that he's pretty badass, man. Doo -doo -doo. Just reading. Have you been on her farm yet? Who... Have I been on whose farm yet? I'm not sure um, what that question is about. Who's Kobe? I love Kobe. I don't know who that is. More AJ, I'll let him know. So if you guys don't know, my husband's in medical school to be a PA. He's super smart. I don't even understand it. Um, so he has been... He has, yeah, Rice Farmer TV. Okay. Anyways, sorry. Like I'm reading these comments and it's like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Um, but my husband has been like studying super hard and everything with COVID has uh, changed a lot for him. He's doing school from home. It is so crazy. But yes, Rice Farming TV, Rice Farmer TV, he's amazing. And I would love to meet him one day. We've just talked very briefly but we're not that far from each other. So it would be really cool um, to meet him one day. Oh, Justin Rhodes. Uh, the Justin Rhodes show. He is like, I, I don't, he's the ultimate homesteader. Like, and I know a lot of people like that kind of like watching the big farms, maybe like the homesteading is like different. I would still consider him a farmer though. He is freaking amazing. I would love to be able to do what he does. He raises all, like, basically all his own food. Oh my gosh, Sean. Wow. Thank you so much for that, Sean. That is incredible. You guys are like making my day. Thank you so much. Wow, Sean. Thank you. I don't even know what to say other than thank you. Um, okay. Kobe is the dog on the Welgers channel. How did, how did I miss that? I feel like I should know everyone's dog's names. I'm going to, I'm going to get on that. We need like a farm tube dog thing. Oh, WT farm girl. Yes. She is super awesome too. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, the New York farm girls. I've also never talked to them. Um, I, I think that they're super awesome. It's the same thing as like Laura. It's like any positivity for ag is positive for all of us. And I, I mean, the, I don't know how long they've been on YouTube, if they've been on YouTube for a long time, but I know that they go way back in like the Instagram game. Um, so I don't follow too much about them, but I know they're dairy girls, right? And they're, they're killing it. So, okay. So one person just said they think I lost you. Can you guys still see me? Everyone can see me. <laughs> oh, well, we've been on here almost an hour. Yes, I'm fine. Okay, I'm glad you guys can see me. Okay, so we are at 54 minutes right now, and I do still need to go home and take care of my chickens and make dinner, but I'll stay on for like another five minutes. So if you guys have any other questions, I'll just let you guys know, maybe about five more minutes. Um, do you watch Farmer Tyler Ranch? I have watched him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. Squirrel. Okay. Um, Farmer Tyler Ranch. I've watched his channel once. I don't think we've ever talked though, but I also don't think he's very far from me. So I probably should engage with his channel and like try to connect because it's like all these people that I've become like super close friends with live so far from me other than Ryan. Do you guys follow the California farmer? I don't even know if he's still doing YouTube videos. I'm such a bad friend. Um, but I do talk to him. We have met in person. I love Ryan and his wife. They have a little toddler and his wife is pregnant. 
the California farmer. Okay, and then someone mess, uh, said my barnyard life, which is Ashley, and she's super amazing too. There's just so many, there's so many great people. Like who even needs TV, right? You could just watch farm tubers all day. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to have to pick. I said millennial. I said Zach. Millennial farmer. I feel like if I say Zach, everyone knows who I'm talking about, right? Like who, who else is Zach? <laughs> oh, okay. I think I'm going to start driving back. Ugh. I'm going to have to come back for the mystery table grape tomorrow. And I think I'm going to pick a whole bunch of it and I'll, I'll get it in a YouTube video. I'll pick a whole bunch of those. We'll get them in the fridge and uh, I'll get them in another YouTube video too. I can't see anything right now, guys. Hold on. Whew. What do you do with the vines after harvest? Um, sorry. Uh, we'll give them certain nutrients, water them, take care of them, and then they'll start going into dormancy. Okay. Canadian tubers. Who, who, other than Sandy, who else have we got on farming YouTube that is from Canada. Let me know. Let me know. I'm just going to turn around. Try not to drive into a ditch. That would, it just would be so embarrassing guys. Hi Rufus. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. And thank you again to Sean for the $99.99. My gosh, man. Just made my Friday. I don't know any of these. Who's Michael? The big Saskatchewan guys? I don't know who that is. I need to make a new friend, apparently. Hi, Charlie. I'm glad you caught my live too. Just kind of randomly decided to do it. Are, um, are you able to insure your vineyard? I'm guessing you meant to say. Um, you can insure it after your first harvest. At least that's what I have found for myself. So after harvest this year, I mean, I have certain kinds of insurance. I have like flood insurance and fire insurance, but I get crop insurance um, after my crop, after my first year. Whoopsie, whoopsie, sorry guys. Okay. Bye David, thank you for watching. Um, I have my P.O. box available in the description of all my videos. Um, pretty sure. Pretty sure you guys want that. Um, someone sent me a tool bag with tools and I love it. <laughs> I got it a while back and they're kind of like girl tools they're all kind of small um but honestly i get so much use out of it i use it so much how are my teeth so perfect braces <laughs> i wore braces forever and i used to wear glasses so i was that kid at school i had uh braces and glasses and now i have straight teeth and i had lasik when I started farming, wearing contacts was a nightmare, a nightmare. I, I had dirt in them so fast and I couldn't even go like half the day with my contacts. So my husband and I were like, it's worth it. Let's just do it. And it was so worth it. LASIK was so worth it. I wish I would have done it sooner. Okay, let's see.
All right, so we are at an hour. I think I'm gonna call it an evening for now. I'm gonna go take care of the chickens and I will do my very best to keep up with my one video a week. And you know, when things are busy, I try to put out more. I so appreciate all you guys. You guys are so amazing. It means the world to me. And uh, I will catch you guys later, okay? Now we'll see if I can uh, shut the video off. Ha, ha, ha.